In high school with a bunch of mates, we had a thing called the New Rebellionators, don't ask me why, but we kind of did parody songs and they kind of got a bit of a following within our high schools that we all went to and things like that. Um, that was probably my first real effort at writing. All the brothers speed things up because you get their music and their tastes and whatever's coming from their bedroom. And I remember when my the brother above me, Dave, he was listening to Kid A or something like that, and I couldn't I couldn't stomach it. So it was definitely there was something happened at some point where I figured out that what they were doing is actually interesting and good. And when I figured out I could make it too, that helps. For some reason, I like dark atmospheric shit. It's easier to write too, I think. Writing a happy song is really hard because it just comes across as really irritating. <laughs> it's like, that's not really, that's not what your life's like. I'm running on a budget like most musicians, so if I had my way, this studio would be chock-a-block full of stuff because it, it does limit your ideas sometimes and the times I have written with a drum kit makes a huge difference in just drives the process in a different direction. So it's a, definitely a frustration, but I suppose at the same time it makes you ingenuitive or whatever the word is. For the most part, I mean, the emulations are, and a lot of them are pretty faithful. I'm definitely not a purist in that sense, but if someone wanted to give me a profit, I'd take one. If they wanted to give me a junior or whatever, I'd take one up, like in a heartbeat. But justifying the purchase is hard when I can get near or near about in a plug-in and for the most part get my point across. When I turned 21, I had a bit of an impromptu gathering and didn't give my mates much time, I guess. So you, you don't expect a gift, but it's the done thing. So they scratched together all the funds they could and they must have done it right because they bought me a beautiful uh, blue Fender Strat. I don't use it as much as I should. I love it, but it's just not the number one for some reason. And then on top of that, from family and closer friends, I, I got a Martin Triple O 28, and they're probably all over the album, I think. The next thing I bought just recently, it's an, an Akai MPK Mini. I figured I should have something of a mobile studio set up, so it's got all your little drum pads on your MPKs, like the name suggests, all your knobs for automating and pitch bend and all that kind of thing. I think it's 25 keys, which when you're a novice keys player like me, it's probably more than enough. I went out on a whim and bought a Telecaster from eBay. I got it in and it was quite badly set up and it didn't look great, it's been bashed around. And so I got it set up and it felt great, but then it still sounded shit. So then I got some pickups wired by a guy Klingon, Jeremy Klingon in Collingwood. And yeah, it sings like a little bird, it's beautiful. When I was first setting up my studio, I needed to buy some decent gear. So I got a little Neumann TLM103. It's good for demoing vocals, which it does most of. Every now and then I record acoustic, but one mic's kind of all I've needed up until this point, so I can properly represent what I'm trying to do. Okay. 